A very good morning to all of you. Today I am going to teach you a very nice poem by the great American Victorian poet Robert Frost. I am here with a candle in my hand. This candle today represents the fire. The candle is burning and I want to indicate this candle for fire and you can see in my right hand there is a snow and surprisingly the name of the poem which I am going to teach you today is fire and ice so let us See the background of the poem. What is the background of the poem? There are many views. The background of this poem is that since the poet Robert Frost is a Victorian poet and the main feature of Victorian poet is that they composed poem based on scientific reality, scientific and science says us that everything in this world is perishable, nothing in this world is permanent. Dunya mein har kuch paranthil hai, dunya mein kuch samaan, kuch ses bachne wala nahi hai. So, the question is here, if everything is perishable in this world, then world will once come to its end. Ek din prithwi bhi dunya bhi samaan ho jai. Again, the question arises, how the world will come to its end? There are two different views regarding the end of the world. Dunya kaise samapt hogi? Iske liye do vichar hai. There are two views. Number one view is religious view. One who believe in the religion, one who believe in the Bible. The Bible says, that the world will come to its end by fire. Bible says that the world will fire to its end by fire. The world will come But there are some people who believe in science, scientific view, who believe in science. And science says that the world will come to its end by ice. But, dear students, this is not a simple poem. Let me explain that these two, two words, fire and ice, are symbol here. This is a deeply symbolical poem. Here, fire stands for fire stands for hot desire. Fire stands for hot desire. And ice stands for happiness among the people. Hatred among the mankind. Now, it's very simple to understand the poem with the help of this symbol. According to some people, the world will end by the fire means the world will end by the hot desire. Due to hot desire, there will be conflict among the people and the world will come to its end by the fire. But the sign says, the world will come to its end by the by the ice. Here, ice is the symbol of hatred. Due to hatred, there will be a war, nuclear war, and due to this war, the world will come to its end. I have written here: desire and hate are two deadly sins of mankind. They are as powerful weapons of destruction as fire and ice can be. So, look the poem. I would like to explain the poem line by line. But before explaining the poem, I would like to see that the poem, poet in this poem clearly very nicely that if someone will ask him how the world will come to its end, the poet says that he will have a fire. कभी ने कहा कि अगर मुझसे कोई कहे कि दुनिया कैसे समाप्त होगा तो मैं 
फायर को फेवर करूंगा मीन हॉट डिजायर को फेवर करूंगा बट रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट इज वेरी वाइज ही सेज दैट इफ द वर्ल्ड विल हैव टू पे स्ट्राइक्स दुनिया एक बार समाप्त हो गया और दुनिया को दोबारा बनाया गया और अगर दूसरी बार दुनिया समाप्त होगी देन सेकेंड टाइम द वर्ल्ड विल कम टू इट्स एंड बाय द आइस दैट्स वाई यू कैन से द पोएट हैज फाइन हाउ अ मिडिल वे अकाउंटिंग विथ पोएट फर्स्ट टाइम द वर्ल्ड विल कम टू इट्स एंड बाय द फायर एंड अकाउंटिंग टू पोएट If the world will have to pay this twice, then second time the world will come to its end by the ice. Now look the poem. Some say the world will end in fire. I have already explained. There are some people who believe that the world will end in fire. कुछ लोगों का मानना है कि दुनिया फायर से समाप्त होगा. And some say in ice. और कुछ लोग कहना है कि दुनिया आई से समाप्त होगा फ्रॉम वॉट आई हैव टेस्ट ऑफ डिजायर हियर टेस्ट ऑफ डिजायर मीन एक्सपीरियंस अबाउट ग्रीन एंड मेटेरियल डिजायर लालच लो फ्रॉम वॉट आई हैव टेस्ट ऑफ डिजायर आई होल्ड विद दो टेबल फायर बट The poet says, if someone will ask to me how the world will come to its end, then I will never fire. I will say the world will end by the fire. There are only two stanzas in the poem. The second stanza is, but if it had to pay its price. Firstly, the poet says, the first time the world will come to its end by the fire. But the poet says, if the world will have to pay its price. अगर दुनिया को दूसरी बार समाप्त होना होगा आई थिंक आई नो इन टूटे कभी कहता है आई नो इन वेरी गर्ल सेकेंड टाइम है डिस्ट्रक्शन आइस इज ऑल्सो ग्रेट द पोइट से आई नो इन वेरी गर्ल दैट जस्ट लाइक फायर आइस इज ऑल्सो Uh, responsible for the destruction of the world second time and would suffice suffice means be sufficient enough for the second time the world will come to its end by the by the ice so dear students it is clear that this is simply symbolical poem don't confused here fire and ice two words has been mentioned fire stands for hot desire and ice stands for hatred the message i would like to mention the message how this poem is relevant nowadays as you know that fire which means hot desire is the root cause of the conflict among the people root cause of the conflict among the people and this conflict will bring this tax on one day just like fire the second thing which is ice ice represents or ice is the symbol of hatred among man kind just like fire ice ice what is ice ice is hatred 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 among people what will it brings it will brings war nuclear war and they the ice will also become a cause for the destruction of the world so we have seen the poem fire and ice by robert frost and at end i would like to show you that this is a deeply symbolical poem 
and you must be familiar with the symbol used by the great Victorian poet Robert Frost that is fire and ice. The question will be, which will be asked in your coming examination, especially in the board examination, will totally based upon the symbol which is used in this poem. For example, write down the two symbols used by Robert Frost in his poem Fire and Ice. Number two question, what is fire stains in the poem Fire and Ice? Third question, what are two views regarding the end of the world? And last question will be, what is the opinion of the Robert Frost regarding the end of the world? You have to write in last question that there are two opinions. First, the poet says, that if the world will have to perish first, then it will perish or destroy by the fire. But if the world will have to perish twice, then second time it will destroy by the ice. I think you have understood the poem. I have already mentioned the question. This is a very short poem containing only nine nights. And I think this is sufficient for today's class. Thank you very much.